What a month though, guys. Your favorite auditor audit them. The one who encourages you to audit them. I'm in Lake Wales, Florida. This is the municipal building. I'm not in my uniform. However, I do have my clipboard. Chapter 119. Florida Public Record Act. So just to clarify, I don't know who's going to be up at the counter. I don't know their attitude. This is my first time here. It all stems from the public official's attitude. As a matter of fact, I'm in I'm in swimming gear. I'm in swimming gear at the current second. Let's see what we got here. City clerk down that way. City clerk down that way. Building apartments. City clerk. City clerk. Ring, ring, golden ring. Hello, hi, ma'am. What are we doing? Uh, I'm here. I'm taking pictures of uh, public records on the wall. Of public on the wall? Yes, that is correct. I'm also conducting an independent audit, familiarizing myself with the Public Record Act, and filming business cards and employees in the, you know, in the capacity of their official duties. You, so you're filming me? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to see if the employees are courteous, as what is one of my uh, visits here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. May I ask what your first name is? My name is Coroma Mills. Coroma Mills. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice do you do you have public record forms here? Public records request form. Yes, ma'am. That is usually to the city clerk, and I could try to get a copy. For sure. You. I thank you so much. Sure, absolutely. Come again? What? Uh, I didn't even hear what you said. Okay, is that the clerk? That is the city clerk. Okay, cool. Thank you. And I'd like to thank you for your courteous act. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Works. Just 
just waiting for the clerk here. I'm going to look at these pick bulletins here. Take pictures. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Hi, ma'am. That's the clerk? Hi, ma'am. I'm recording audio and video. I'm inspecting public records all on the wall, regardless of form or characteristics. I'm also engaging with the employees here to see if they're common courteous to the people. But anyhow, ma'am, I need public record forms. Well, we don't have a form. You just tell me what it is you need. Oh, sure. You'll take a verbal request? Absolutely. Cool. Give me a, will you hand me a post-it? Are you also the Freedom of Information Officer? I am. Okay, cool. Do you have a completed yearly training certificate? I don't have a completed yearly training certificate, but I do go to training on a regular basis. Okay, cool. Um, is oh, and it, I do have certificates that have that kind of training, like my CMC yeah, sure. certificate. Is it not required by state to have a FOIA officers have a yearly completed training certificate? Not no, aware. not in the state. Okay. Anyhow, um, I also wanted to know how I could go about purchasing signed and dated oath of office. Of her, the commissioner? No, of the uh, mayor, clerk, and police chief. The mayor is easy. I can find that. Okay. The, the, there's no cost because it's just a, making a copy. Certified? Yeah. Sure. Um, but so I can get one for the... Do you think I could walk out with that today? The mayor? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. cool. The police chief... <laughs> Those would, would be for FOIA. Yes, the police chief, I would have to investigate that one. Okay, not a problem. And who else did you want? Um, so clerk, police chief, and mayor. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That um, I also have two other requests for oh, sure. for, for FOIA. Yeah. So in, in the words that I choose, ma'am, if you're able to write it down, a uh, list roster of all employees, job duties, titles, include salaries. Job duties, <laughs> titles, yep. salaries. That is correct. Okay. Okay. And the second and final request for today, um, all recorded vacant property, commercial and residential. All recorded vacant um, yeah. does, property. Does the, t does the town here require its residents to record their property as vacant? That I have no idea. Oh, okay. So um, it'll be a good request. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see. Let's try. Let's write that down. A list of vacant property. Yes, ma'am. Uh, vacant mm -hmm. property. Commercial and residential. We'll make sure she gets that message. Let's say 2017 to 2022. 2017, yep. This way, I kind of act like my own real estate agent, not saying that needs a license or not. But you know, I find out what's vacant. I get a hold of the homeowner and see, inquire if they want to sell it or rent it. You know. There's a reason why it's vacant. They might not want to be interested in it. Okay. Yep. Um, Give you an email address. That was my next question. <laughs> How would you like us to provide sure. you this information? And I thank you for your courteous act, ma'am. Um, so my email address is FOIA, F-O-I-A. F-O-I-A. Yep, auditor. A-U-D-I-T-O-R. That is correct, at gmail.com. Gmail.com. Come, yep. Is there any way I could have a press stamp copy of that pa piece of paper? Yeah, just with the the, the date. Press that. Got a date out. Oh, okay, sure. Today is March 11th, 2022. And you, be, you being a FOIA officer, ma'am, you are aware that any member of the public can inspect government records. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. That doesn't require any special credential or anything like that. Right. Right, okay, good. It is 11th. There's some viewers out there that they don't know that. They think it requires some special credentials or something. You want a copy of this? Please. Could I have your business card too? I may put you a 10 star review on Yelp. Keyword may. <laughs> Thank you so much. Guys, make sure you put this young lady here, 10 star review on Yelp. Because the staff members over here are phenomenal. Smile on their face, compliant, no static, no hesitation, no nasty uh, body language. No, we
So let's wait for that copy there and I'll be on my way. Real nice people here. I thank you kindly. All right, if you want to hang on for a few minutes, I'll get you sure. the uh, oath of office. The oath of office for the mayor. Was the most recent one sufficient? Yes, okay. thanks. Mm -hmm. So the difference between Illinois is that Florida, they uh, they do honor oral requests. They have to honor oral requests. In Illinois, a public body may honor an oral request, so it doesn't necessarily have to. I'm waiting for an oath of office right now. It'll basically say, I solemnly swear to uphold and support the U.S. Constitution and state constitution to the best of my ability, so on and so forth. Is this your business card here, ma'am? Okay. I may put you a 10-star review on Yelp. Keyword, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yep. I thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. You'll be surprised how many towns I visited, ma'am, and the employees are so rude. Oh, no. Yep. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. May I ask what your job title is? Executive assistant. Yes. So the employees do have a code of conduct. Sure do. Absolutely. Do you believe the free members of the public have a code of conduct? I think everyone should conduct themselves accordingly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and courtesy. Yeah. courtesy. Uh, oh, yeah. Respect goes a long way from all parties. But the members of the public don't have a assigned code of conduct. No, you don't. Yeah, right, right. Oh. Oh. I'd like to verify that for some viewers. They just don't know these simple things, you know? Well, I thank you, though. I think she's got the... Um, oath of office of the mayor there. So, make sure you folks put 10 star review for these young ladies here. Like I said, I like um, when there's public officials that are professional, courteous, and calm. It's got a smile on their face. And I also like running into public officials that are rude, condescending, this and that. Because, you know, it shows. Everything shows. Just wait for that out of office. There it is there. I thank you so much, ma'am. You're very welcome. Um, yep. Do solemnly swear to uphold the... Thank you so much. You're God bless. Welcome. Take care, ladies. Thank you. Okay. I, Eugene Falls, do solemnly swear that I will support, protect, defend the Constitution and government of the United States and the state of Florida, that I duly qualify to hold office under the Constitution of the state and that I will faithfully perform the duties of mayor in the city of Lake Wells in the official office of which I am about to enter. So God help. Hey, what's up, Doctor Hey, I got a call from the old hotel, 521. Uh, Yeah, so it's called the old hotel. I don't know. He says that he's trying to make some repairs and his curb stuff to shut off all the way. See, I'm in the public works. All right. Yeah, that's that's what I got from the guy. Five two one. I guess he says between Wales and Fifth. And, and it's called the old hotel. All right, my friend. Thank you. All right. Bye. Hello, hi, sir. Um, I'm recording audio and video, sir. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm wanting to inspect. I'd like to ask you, so there was once a neighbor of mine who received a complaint from water department, and it was showing some uh, specific complaint on the section in the water atlas. It said, check water atlas page. It was around 220. So I public record requested to see the atlas, and they said that it was exempt. But another town that I visited told me that the water atlas is a, a record that shall be furnished immediately for mm. public disclosure. So my question is here, this being public works, is the uh, water atlas that for this town here, 
subject to public disclosure. I can get you that information. Just have a seat on sure. someone. Absolutely, door. my man. Thank you. Okay, now let's see if you know for the people always asking about water atlas and this and that. Lean on me. I'm in my slippers. Hi, Hi ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, did this gentleman relay what my request was? Yeah, but it, it doesn't make sense. Something about a water atlas? Oh, okay. It doesn't make sense. So my na one of my neighbors uh, long a while ago received a citation about some water issues from a municipality. And it said on the citation, check uh, Water Atlas page 250 or something like that. So I put in a public record request at the time to view the Water Atlas, and the municipality sent me an exemption letter. So then I went to another town, and I noticed that um, there was a list of categories or records that the public body shall immediately disclose, and Water Atlas was one of them. So basically, I was I was able to view a Water Atlas from a specific town and from a from a different specific town I was unable to. So my question is here, would I be able to view the water atlas from this town or is it readily available? From, I really don't know what you're talking about, but from my understanding, the water atlas is on the Southwest Florida Water Management District's webpage. Okay, so how don't you know what I'm talking about? Cause you said somebody got a notice or a citation. Yeah, I'm basically what I'm talking about is wanting to inspect the water atlas. <laughs> You can go to the Southwest Florida Water Management District's webpage. Okay. And I, I believe it's on there. You believe? Okay, but yeah. ma'am, I do prefer to view the hard copy versus online. I don't have a hard copy. Oh, no? Okay. Yeah, see, I, that's what I'm saying. This is the first I've heard. Yeah, sure, heard sure. Yep. First, you heard of Water Atlas or somebody wanting to inspect? No, about a hard copy because oh, we don't okay. produce those. I see. Who? We don't we don't generate it. Yeah. it. But you see you see what I'm referencing just so you know what I'm talking about. I, I recommend you go to the Southwest yeah. Florida Water Management District sure. webpage. Okay. And you should be able to find May it. May I ask there. what your first name is? Uh I believe I thought he had my card. My name is Sarah. Are you the commissioner, water? No, I'm not. Oh. Well I'm the utilities director. Oh, I'm not a cool, commissioner. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, just so you know what I was inquiring in, my neighbor did receive a violation and it said check page, whatever. Do you know what type of violation Thank it you, was? Do you, um, what is your neighbor's address? Yeah, well, sure. It's not in this state per se. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But um, just a general idea, you know, general idea. So anyhow, um, I thank you guys for the assistance and I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, check that. What, may you write that down for me? Mm -hmm. um, put that. Go to the go to the Google and put in Southwest Florida Water Management District. I think it's Florida Matters. And but, then um, Yeah, go to the This one here or this? Uh just go up to the top, this which it should be like their main Yeah. Now ma'am, I'd like to ask you another question. Um as far as water is What if it's not online? What would I have to do next? I don't know. <laughs> because I don't generate that. Sure. <laughs> would, would it be rude if I say that's not a good enough answer? You can say that, <laughs> but I don't generate a water atlas. Yeah, sure. So I, I don't have anything to do with that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Another question. Um. I noticed that the water meters change from analog to digital. 
Was there consent from the homeowners or a contract? No, it doesn't have to be consent from the homeowners. Really? No. Um, is that in legislation? No. So how how is the homeowner supposed to verify about that? To verify about what? Verify um, where was the permission or how, how it goes about? The meters belong to the city. Yep. When we upgraded our system, upgrading the meters were a part of it. Okay. So basically we upgraded our, our system. Sure. And they were a part of our system. We don't have to get the homeowner's consent to upgrade the utility system. I see. Okay. Uh, I put in... There was a time I did a Google search about people being cheated with their water bills. And, uh, you know, it's some research that I like to do. Find out if the meter might be defective, which is a possibility. If there's a leak somewhere, you know. Yeah, it was just strange to me that one town would say that it's exempt and another town says it's open to public disclosure. That makes me think that one of the towns was maybe not being transparent. The top okay. website sure. is the South Coast Water Water Management District. That's the district that we fall under for say sure. like our water use permit and County. stuff like that. Yeah. And then the other one, wateratlas.org, mm -hmm. I just Googled what is the water atlas? Okay. And it says that um, basically for Florida, um, or for some areas, the University of South Florida did some study. Um, yep. It says that Hillsborough County has a water atlas. But like, let's say, let's say um, the, um, the homeowner did receive a citation or violation. I that, can't speak okay. to that because yeah. I don't know exactly what they okay, got. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, I can't speak to that. Yep. Yeah, you do offer two. payment plans for water water bills? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, I'm gathering general questions, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Public record requests. So, yeah, so that's University of South Florida, too. So, mm -hmm. Hillsborough County. So, they did Hillsborough County. So, this one here, wateratlas.org, mm -hmm. it looks like the University of South Florida did a whole bunch of stuff and created a water atlas. Okay. So you may be able to go to this site and then kind of find out what you're looking for. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I may do that. I thank you guys so much. Have a pleasant day. You're welcome. You too. Thanks. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. I mean, it, 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 some trolls out there would believe that it's rude for me to insist that I want to view it on, in person and not online. Or you know that I don't have to go online, but if I if I kept asking questions, they'll say I'm rude and this and that. You can't please everybody. You can't please everybody. Let me see human resources here. Hello. Hi, ma'am. I'm inspecting government re public records mm -hmm. and engaging with public officials to see if they are calm, courteous, respectful. Um, you, this being human resources, do you have a list roster of all employees, job duties, and titles readily available for me to inspect? Um, not available. Not available. Okay. We would have to run a report. Sure, public record request. Yes. Yep. I did submit a public record request for that inf uh, record. Did you go to Jennifer? Nash? Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, clerk. Yeah. 
Um, so I guess it'll take a few days to send yeah. it to my email. I just thought if it would be readily available, I could take oh, photos. No. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, Carmen Ortiz. Ortiz, thank you for your kind and courteous act. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, so far this town right here is real calm. Building, okay, let me check the information here. It's public records. Hi, ma'am. Inspecting public records here in the wall. How much is a copy of this full map? So, so, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Inspecting public records and engaging with public officials to see if they're common courteous while engaging with members of the public. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let me check the place. Sure, thank you. Hello. This is still Polk County, right? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, what what current ward are we in? What current what? Ward. Ward. Yeah. Is this uh, town made up of uh, aldermans? Have aldermans? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. No, no that's okay. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so nice here. <laughs> Oh, could I have one of these pens? Sure. Sure. What's the limit? The limit? Yeah, of pens that I can have. Um, we prefer one. So prefer one, yep. Yeah. <laughs> but if somebody was to take three, that's not stealing. No, it's not stealing. <laughs> can I have some questions for you? Um, what questions do you have? May I ask what your first name is? Are you recording? Yes, ma'am. I am. Did you uh, ask for permission? Um, ma'am, if you let me explain without escalating. Did you ask permission? I'm waiting for a map of... I, I don't need to engage with you. Thank Did you. Did you ask permission? Thank you and have a nice day. Okay, I'll call one of the officers. Thank you. Uh, what did no he problem? say? No, there's no problem. The lady just jumped out and started He's being rude. Done without permission. Um, I explained myself, ma'am. I'm taking photos of public records on the wall and I'm verifying if the public officials here are kind and courteous, which everyone has been so far. Okay. That lady just jumped out out of nowhere and started engaging me. Yep. Uh, so about that map? Um, they have a cost of $5 per page. $5 per page? Mm -hmm. What about just a regular page like this size? Of um, that map? Yep. Who's, who is that? <clears throat> who is that lady? Yeah. Sure. You see, uh, may I ask what your first name is, sir? Sure. I came in, I spoke to I spoke to uh, the public record officer. I filled out public record requests. Okay. Mark, right? Okay. Okay. So I explained that I'm uh, taking photos of public records, which are maps, plats, you know, everything on the wall, regardless of form or characteristics. I uh, already spoke to about six employees, which all employee were common, courteous, and professional. I explained to every single employee that I spoke to okay. that I am also taking photos and video of the public official that engage that I engage to see okay. if they're common courteous. Okay, why? Huh? Why? For matters of public interest. Okay, yep. related to? Transparency and accountability. Okay. Yep. Are you representing an organization or just acting as an individual or? We don't get these kinds of requests. Yeah, well, you see, the Public Record Act uh, allows mm -hmm. a member of the public to inspect government records. Are you familiar with that portion? I'm familiar with Florida's public records. Yeah, well, Chapter have you, 119. Have, have you spoken to our city clerk? Yeah, absolutely. I filed a uh, public okay. record already. Is there a specific public record that you would like? No, I already filed that. Now I'm in the process. This young lady's checking for a map for me. 
Okay. Then that lady just popped out of nowhere and started being very rude. I'm not being rude. What I was letting you know is that it's against the law to record people ma'am without you, their permission. So okay. Are you, you are you do not willing? have permission to record me? Okay, Thank ma'am. You. I have a meeting. Okay. Thank you. See how she just embarrassed herself for maybe hundred thousand well, no, people to no. watch. No, no, don't make okay. accusatory comments. That's becoming unprofessional and inappropriate. And I'm not going to accept that. Okay, well, you have been treated calmly and professionally by everyone here. I expect the same courtesy. Do we understand each other, sir? Okay. I comprehend what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Now listen to this. Listen to this. You're trying to create an adversarial confrontational situation no, no. here, and I'm not going to accept it. Sir, seven different employees were calm and courteous until okay. this lady just came out and okay. identified herself as okay. being hostile. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Okay. Now listen to this. Now let's focus on what you need. You have asked for a copy I'm of waiting. the map. We're working yeah, on I'm waiting for a copy of the map. Is sure. there anything else you need? No, that about it for right now. Okay. I'm more now, than happy to help you with any public records request okay, you would like. I'd like to ask you something here. And I'd like you to, to know about this, that the public official has mm -hmm. a code of conduct, hey, Chris. code of ethics. Mm -hmm. Let's hear this. Well, I always conduct myself in an ethical, moral, and professional manner. And if there's something I have or have not done, please let me know. Okay, well, will you mind identifying that lady there? Because I'd like to... She just identified herself, did she not? Um, I don't recall. Do you know the first name? I'll leave that up to her to identify Because I'd like, I'd like to... And as she stated on that, she indicated that you did not have her permission to record her. That's good that she stated that. Now, is it just out of thin air that you believe it's not permitted, or do you have actual law backing that claim? I'm not going to engage with you on that. Well, I think it's time for us to engage our counsel. Okay, i uh like to receive that map, and I'll be on my way. Sure, and I thank you two ladies for being so calm and courteous, along with the other staff members. Do you have I would, do you have information? Can I get a copy of the public records request so you can identify yourself? Well, I have here the signed and dated oath of office. Do you have a signed and dated oath of office as well? No, because I'm not an elected official. You're not an elected official. Okay, no. that's good. Now, you said you need a copy of the public record to identify myself? I would like to. Is there a problem or an issue or concern with that? Well, you're coming off as a little hostile, so I, I choose well, to disengage with you. Thank you. Have a blessed day. I'll wait for that map, and I'll be on my way. Okay. I do not, not to be feel rude like or I anything. Think, I don't think I was being rude unprofessional, but I think that's a fair question to ask. Well, I call it common courtesy. Well, sir, again, I don't have a code of conduct. You see, why is it that six employees already were so mm -hmm. calm, courteous, had a smile on their face, had no problem with being filmed? Why is it that this lady came out, started talking loud, that what triggered you mm -hmm. to step out of the office and come engage me. If it wasn't for this lady coming out and being so rude on camera, you would never be here sitting next to me. Well, that's for you to speculate. Well, the video shows otherwise. Okay, so be it. Okay, so be it. Have a pleasant day, sir. You can't get me to be unprofessional or try to get me to say something unconscious, well, sir. Well, I'm not going to debate okay? Well, I'm not having it. If you have a, a need, we can address it. If you have I'm a request, again, we can I'm waiting for the. Um, I am waiting okay. for the map, and I'll be on my way. You, you are, you are. Uh, do realize that everything you are subject, meaning you are subject to public disclosure. Everything you do on clock dime. On what? Clock dime, taxpayer. Okay. Official capacity. There okay. it is. There. Okay. Good. Well, now, again, if you have a question or an okay. issue or concern, thank I need you. Some... Thank you so much, ma'am. Now Let that I did, now that I did receive this map, mm -hmm. I wanted to be on my way, meaning I wanted to leave. Okay. But now I believe she called the police, so I'm gonna sit here and wait. Okay. Okay. If she didn't call the police, I'll leave. If she did call the police, I'll sit here and wait. Okay. Like she's not able to show me any evidence, ma'am. Could we start over? Would you like to start over? No, not if you're recording me. Okay, I have it pointed at a different direction. Can you hear my voice? Absolutely. That's against the law. Okay, ma'am, are you able to show me any... Here, first, start, let's start it off like is this. My meeting, is my appointment here? Okay. So you don't want to talk. I'm busy. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about, man? There were seven employees that had a smile on their face. They were so mm -hmm. calm and courteous. This lady just showed that she may be doing something um, not that she's not supposed to, meaning there might be discovery from public record requests from an ongoing investigation. Okay. I don't know this lady. I never met this lady in my life. She doesn't know me. She doesn't know. 
And if she really believes that I don't have permission to film a uh, public official in the course of their duties, regardless of form or characteristics, then it doesn't hold up. It has no standing if, if we did go to court. Okay. Well, I'm okay. not going to debate you on that. Okay. So what else do you need? That's all. I was ready to leave, but I guess she, she snitched. She called the police right now. So I got to wait here for the police. So I believe I have the right to record in here. I'm not going to address that question. Okay. That's good enough. Again, if you have a need, a question, a concern regarding what we do here, I'm more than willing to uh, assist you. Well, like I said, sir, I did receive the map that okay. I Is there anything initially else you came need? for. I'm just waiting here now in case she did call the police. So okay. I can uh, have the police uh, inform her that I am able to film in here. Okay. Is that about Whatever. it? I'm not acknowledging it. I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with what you say. I'm merely acknowledging that you stated the statement. Do Are, we understand each other on that? Are we sir, clear? I don't understand. I comprehend. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Is Under, there anything else? Understanding means standing under. Okay, standing under. Uh, okay. Could you verify if she did call the police? If she didn't, I'll be on my way. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. She did. All right. If there's anything else, um, please let Shea know, and I'll be able and happy okay. to assist you. Thank sure. You. Business card here. Um, all hours if staff have their business card. Oh, what's that lady's first name? Excuse me, Sh Shannon. I'd like to have that lady's business card uh, to address a, a complaint to the mayor. May you tell me what the first name is so I could take the business card there? That's the lady there. Thank you so much. Okay. And you see, folks, I didn't want to uh, have anybody engage me on such a poor matter like that lady did. The video shows exactly the body language, exactly how she came out and started talking to me. She went and called the police. She went and called the police. I'm going to simply ask the police a simple question right now. And here's the actual chapter 119 code. It is the policy of the state that all state, county, municipal, which is this is a municipal records are open for personal inspection and copying by any person. Providing access to public records is a duty of each agency. And if you further look into the act, you'll realize that regardless of form or characteristics. You see, folks, this is a perfect example how we have calm, courteous, respectful employees who are willing to assist and are reasonable versus employees that need to be investigated for wrongdoing, such as the employee, the two employees, the lady and the man. I don't want to call him a gen gentleman, but the lady and the man showed themselves. So right now I'm waiting for the police to get here. If, I mean, it didn't have to escalate to this step here. I received the map, I would have been on my way, and I would have put five-star reviews for the employees that were calm, courteous, respectful, um, you know, and uh, honoring their code of conduct and code of ethics. See, here's another section that I like to point out that a public officials act when they act disrespectful, rude, or condescending, or un uninformed, that those opinions don't matter side by side with actual chapter 119 public record act. 119 0.7 inspection and copying of records, photographing public records, each person, or it says every person who has custody of a public record shall permit the record to be inspected and copying by any person desiring to do so. That means it doesn't require any special uh, credentials or anything like that. Um, a custodian of public records. Good. Um, if you go to that one around there, you can assist them with their therapy. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, good morning. Okay.
Okay, let's give him a minute here. Good. Good. We're in the neighborhood. Just wanted to see if we can get to Mr. Bennett for a couple minutes. minutes. Bill Canty. Thank you. You can, you can do this. If you guys want to just have a seat, he's on the line at the moment. Oh, over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a conference room. <laughs> no, sir. That's his office. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, hi, sir. How are you? I'd like to know if the lady did call the police. So I, if not, I'll get going. I know she, she came in here. She did talk to the police. Okay. I, I do not know if they are coming here. I didn't hear that conversation. Okay. So, may I have your business card there? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, may I ask you what was the reason why she called the cops? I, I didn't listen to her. She just used my room as a, uh, as a quiet place to call the police. Oh, she called from her personal phone or she government her issue? Phone. Personal phone. Yes, oh, good enough. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, I just got, <laughs> just got called. It's Billy, Jimmy, Jimmy Yeah, how you doing? Oh, hi, man. I'm an engineer. From yeah. Smile, so. All right. We'll be back. Let's right. get on you later. Do you want me to set something official yeah. up for you? I, I got his card. Are you sure? So if I got any questions, Bill's going to be there. Okay. Do you have? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll call. Can I give you my card? You yeah. can. And I don't even have a card with me, but... <laughs> So notice, guys, what I just witnessed. Three gentlemen came in here to see a specific employee. The, the employee said now he has a, a meeting or something going on. Just like the lady said she has a meeting that she didn't even want to hear what I was talking about. So a way to verify is request all meetings within a specific day through utilizing the Public Record Act and verify if that's a simple lie, if it's untrustworthy of an employee to sit here and lie to you. Out of, out of thin air. Thank you. You know, this should have never ha had to escalate to this step here. I received the map. I should have been on my way. Now I'm waiting for the police to get here because the lady called from her personal phone. What did she call and tell him? Hey, there's somebody filming. They're not allowed to. Cop comes in. Yep, he could film in here. Have a nice day. <laughs> Unbelievable. So this is how the lady was talking false. She said, you don't have my permission to film me. Here's the actual state statutes. Chapter 119, section 12. Public record. This defines what a public record is. It says, means all documents, papers, letters, maps, books, tapes, photographs, films, sound recordings, data processing software or other material this is the part here regardless of physical form or characteristics so that means that what was specified was no that has no backing what she said has no backing has no statute no laws this is the actual factual here so sound recordings is a public record regardless of form physical form or characteristics let's define the word characteristics or means of transmission made or received pursuant to the law or ordinance in connection with the transaction of official business by any agency. Well, it, it's good that we get to, um, it, you know, it's good for the viewers that get to see kind, courteous employees, which we, we thank and, you know, we'll put good reviews on. And it's also good to see employees who, who, who think they're above their organizational chart, who think they're, they're superior to the regular people who would come out here and, and, you know, claim orders that are incorrect. It's good to see all types of employees, but great employees and employees who need to be investigated.
utilizing a public record act. There it is right there, it's highlighted. Beyond that, the First Amendment freedom of press. Beyond that, the DHS uh, photo readiness. Now the lady's smiling at me. She got a, She just walked by and she got a smile on her face. Like she feels good about calling the police on me. How, how condescending. How condescending does someone have to be to walk across the room right now, smiling at, smiling at me, knowing that she just called the police, that I'm not breaking the law? Because these, some of these employees, they abuse their authority and that's what we like to investigate. You know, that these employees bring that upon themselves. I just engaged seven other employees that were calm, courteous, respectful, and adhering to their code of conduct code of um, ethics now I'm having my time wasted sitting here waiting for the police oh yep he could film in here not a problem have a nice day sir <laughs> unbelievable the second you see the video and you see the lady's body language and the way she was she was acting on film it was very condescending Pursuant to the fundamental philosophy of the American constitutional form of government, it is declared to be the public policy that all citizens are entitled to full and complete information regarding the affairs of public officials and the act of those who represent them as public officials and consistent with this act. Such access is necessary to enable the people to fulfill their duties of discussing public issues fully and freely, making informed political judgments and monitoring government to ensure that it is being conducted in the public interest. Uh, excuse me, sir. The lady just walked by smiling, but I, I just wanted you to ask the lady if she did call the police. If she didn't, I'll be on my way. I don't want to sit here and have my time wasted. If you want to go on your way, go on your way. Nobody's asked you to stay. Yeah, you? but you see, if the police are coming, I'd like to have them inform the lady that I am able to film. Okay. Yep. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. You can go on your way if you want to. If the police show up. You've left your information with us. Do we know who you are? Um, you is, know who I am. Who sure. Are you? Are, is that a question you're asking? I'm asking. I'm greeting you. Sure. Okay. I'm Corey. I'm the building official. Yep. I got your business card okay. here. Okay. Now let me ask you: Am I obligated to provide my name? You are not. Okay. That's good enough. That's okay. that's the best answer there. Thank you. Yes, sir. lady comes on and says, can I help you? No, I didn't ask for your assistance. You clearly heard me ask the young lady here by the name of Victoria uh, or Veronica if I could get a copy of the map, zoning map. Lady said, yep, sure. Had, had a calm, courteous smile on her face. Let's make sure we put 10 stars for all these employees who are calm, courteous, respectful, and professional, honoring their code of conduct. And to be a... Uh, investigation of the employees otherwise, which is the two employees identified themselves. It's a possibility that the police told Miss Adam, uh, the assistant director of development that, yep, he could film in there, it's not a problem, and they're not even gonna come, but if not, then I have to wait for him here, I have to wait for him so they could inform the lady that, yep, he's, he's allowed to record in here, it's not a problem. Um, and she will be informed. She's telling me it's illegal and this and that. Now it's almost like I'm, I'm detained here. Lady walks right past me smiling right now, a few minutes ago. She's smiling that she got it in her heart to call the police on me because she thinks it's illegal to film in here. She's got that in her heart. She's smiling at me. Oh, yep, yep, take him away. Take him away to jail. Put him in, put him in jail. He's in here recording. Wow, this says, regardless of physical form or characteristics, a public record is a sound recording. 
according to chapter 119. She did also identify that she has a meeting to go to, so the public record uh, request will show if that's a, a, a blatant lie, uh, which would ring a flag of uh, untrustworthy. But um, again, um, everything is open to public disclosure, so it should have never had to escalate like like this. I received the map; I would have been on my way have to make a, a visit to the county law library um, and if you notice she had a real poor attitude before she even mentioned anything about filming she clearly had the door open, heard everything that I requested. I clearly asked uh, the lady here for a copy of the map. She heard me ask for that. Why would she come out and ask if she could help me when she clearly heard that I was being assisted? Because she wants to um, show her she, that she believes she got authority over the people. That we the people are on top of the organizational chart. It either, it either says taxpayers or residents at the top of the organizational chart. Excuse me, Ms. Coachella, if you did call the police and they're on their way, I'm going to go ahead and wait. If they're not on their way, I ask that I leave. Could you verify if you did call them? Because right now I feel I'm being detained from your poor judgments. I'd like to leave. Okay, folks, so what I just did, I, I called this number, I called the extension to speak to this employee to simply ask, hey, did you call the police? Should I wait for the police or should I be on my way? The lady's acting like... The lady's acting like she's not in the office. She doesn't want to talk to me, so... Um, and just to clarify what my... In, my, my purpose was for this uh, visit here for the town hall. My entire purpose here was I came in, I wanted to inspect public records, which I'm allowed to, Chapter 119 that says so. Uh, you know, taking photos of uh, pictures on the wall, engaging with public employees to see if they're common, courteous, respectful, and uh, filing freedom of, of public record requests, along with asking questions in public uh, utilities, as well as receiving a map of the zoning so that was my uh, um, my whole purpose here of visiting today was to verify if the employees are respectful calm courteous and file public record requests and get a copy of the zoning map so now i'm being almost being detained by a condescending employee and um th that's not right it's not right. It should have never, this should have never happened. I should have received my copies and I should have already been on my way. The difference here is that an employee is talking false with no legal backing. And I'm talking correct that I have my chapter 119 on my clipboard. I have my clipboard here with me with state statutes. 
me being an, um, an independent auditor, I'm going to mark this down as non-compliance and then um, kick off an investigation. If this was an internal auditor, this would never happen. Okay, anyway, let me go up front to the counter. Alicia, thank you so much for your kind and courteous act. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Unbelievable. You guys see how, how things happen, things escalate. Nobody could come over here and tell me um, that I'm doing something wrong. Nah, she popped out like the like the lady from uh like Eagle Man. She popped out like Eagle Man on top of the car. Let me ask the people here at the front counter. Hello, hi, ma'am. I am recording audio and video, ma'am. I'm inspecting government records and seeing if the public officials are kind and courteous. One lady back there, ma'am, by the name of um, Al, uh, um, Autumn Coachella. Okay, in the building department? In the building department. Okay. She came out being very rude. Didn't want to hear what my purpose was for today's visit, okay. which is public records, a copy of zoning map, so on and so okay. forth. She said that she called the police because she doesn't believe I'm able to film. So I just wanted to verify if the police are showing up so they can inform her I am able to record. Um, honestly, she's in a different department, so I'm not sure. I haven't been made aware of okay. the calls. Okay, sure. Um, like you said, it is a public building. Um, yeah. Public record. Um, and you are aware that I can record my transaction when conducting it with a public official? Yes. You see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I, and I, I, I salute that you got a kind and courteous act. Already, I talked to seven employees, which were all professional. Yeah. Kind, courteous, mm -hmm. honoring their code of conduct and code of ethic. She's the only one, her and another guy that next door to her, are, that stood out, that are very rude, condescending. Yeah. No, I, I apologize for that. Um, I don't know if you, if you maybe you want to okay. speak with HR or anything, or I mean, I don't know if you want to. Um, well, I guess I just have to wait for a few more minutes. If the police don't show up, I'll be yeah, on my way. Um, I mean, I can call back and see maybe. Information. Can you please um, ask? Did you guys call the police on this gentleman? Yeah, what, what's the point? All right, thank you. Sure, thanks. See, you guys, there's respectful employees everywhere. We want to engage with the respectful employees, and we want to engage with the um, naysayers, the ones that disrespect things. So this way we'll be able to verify. Take a folder here. See, like they got pens over here. Some people would think I'm a thief if I take three pens. No, there's no sign. There's no, no sign that says you, you could only limit yourself to one pen. So you see that this girl right here at the front counter could have clearly made that phone call right here and verify it. But I guess they don't want transparency. So she went somewhere back there so she could talk about that. No, oh, ma'am, this young lady here is assisting. Oh, you just wait on her? Yeah. Okay. All right. Commission Chambers. Let me walk back here and see if the police showed up. Police might be in there right now. She's giving a little run around. He was being irate. He was being this. He was being that. But let her turn. No, not away. That's the lady who called the police on me. Ma'am, I just need to know. Did you call the police? 
No, but why call is none of your business. You said you were calling the police. I don't have the right to call the police? No, I need to know. Are they here? If you did... Why are you still here? Because I'm waiting for the police to inform you that I am able to film. Who, called? Who said the police was coming? The man said you called from your personal phone. No, I can do that. Thank you. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you didn't, I'm willing to leave. Well, I, I want to leave. Phone is not your business, sir. Ma'am, I'd, I'd like Thank to leave. You. You see, you see what we're what we're talking about here, guys. All she has to tell me, yep, I did call the police, so I could sit around and wait for the police to show up, so they could inform her. If she didn't call the police, then I'm on my way. And she did tell me five, ten minutes ago. She did say that she's calling the police. Now she's saying that it's none of my business. So now let's talk about why I may want the sonic map here. Because I'm inquiring I'm inquiring in land, I'm inquiring in property. Um you know via via like Zillow and stuff like that. But at the end of the day this shows uh which is the residential area, which is the commercial area and so on and so forth. Be informed, you know acting as a real estate agent per se, but not with uh, you know without the license requirement. You could further analyze um, property taxes while looking at the zoning. It's so unbelievable how you're always you're always gonna have the the one, two, three employees that are condescending. She had a smile on her face walking past me right after telling me she called the police. First she tells me she called the police, then she tells me it's none of my business who she calls. Guys, wake up man. Hi ma'am. <laughs> I was over there. Oh, okay. So. No, you're good. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, you see, the thing is that, like I said, I came in here to um, file public record requests, pick up a copy of the zoning map. Chapter 119 says uh, what a public record is, regardless of form or characteristics. I just don't know why the lady said that she's going to call the cops, call the police, because I'm filming. If the police did show up, yep, he's able to film. Mm -hmm. That about it. Right. But I was basically detained, waiting there for 10 minutes for a police show up, so the police show up so they can mm -hmm. inform the lady. Yep, he's able to film. Yeah. Here's chapter 119. No, no, no. And um, you're familiar with the uh, city's organizational chart? That the people are on top of the organization, the chart. Under that is the mayor and so oh, on and so it's forth. The manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that about it, yeah. guys. Again, I thank you for for seven employees that were calm, courteous, professional, honoring their code of conduct and code of ethics. Mm -hmm. But you're always gonna have one or two employees who think they're they're superior and throw out body language that's condescending. Yeah. Which will in turn uh, become a um, investigation of any wrongdoing. Any wrong going. Mm -hmm. So other than that, guys, uh, ladies, thank you. Have a blessed day. Okay, thank you. Likewise. Well, there it is, man. It's unbelievable.
It's unbelievable how these people act. Audit them always encourages you to audit them.